Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Carissa Kobalecki and I am the owner of Damn Good Marketing. Today I wanted to take a second to really just dive in on Marketing 101, right? Like let's just lay out the foundation for your marketing and get the basics out of the way. So the first thing we really need to identify is what kind of business are you? Are you selling a product? Do you have a service? Are you just kind of throwing around an idea that you have that you really just want to see if there's even a market for? So no matter what it is, let's figure it out and dive into because that's really just going to take us down that road of how we're going to market your business. So understanding that foundation is first. The next thing that we're going to talk about is value. What kind of value does your product, service, or idea have? Is there even a market for it? So identifying that is going to be very basic. So let's just take it down to the basics and talk about value. Value is broken down into a really simple concept. It's just benefit divided by cost. So benefit, how does this product or service benefit me? And how much is this going to cost me? And once you can divide those and have, you know, a a profit in that, then it's something that's valuable to your consumers. So identifying that is going to be really how you're going to create your marketing, right? Around those benefits and around that added value. So let's dive into a little bit about our utility types and how you can identify utilities specific to your business. So here are some examples of utility types. So number one, we could have hours of operations. Hours of operations could be a benefit in the sense that availability, right? That some businesses are closed during times that are not convenient for your consumer, but by being available, say, 24 hours a day, that's something that could be an added benefit. Number two could be location. If you are in, say, like a strip mall that may have other businesses that, you know, complement your business, then that's something that could be an added value so your clients don't have to go to multiple locations to get things done. Um, or say, you know, another thing could be ownership or form. Like if you're a movie theater, hey, we have these really nice luxury, you know, chairs in our offices or in our location. And that is the benefit that people are looking for is comfortability. So once you have identified what your utilities could be for your business, the next thing is how are you going to market them, right? So just a few ideas. You have your traditional forms of marketing, which Marketing in itself is really just how you're going to get your product, service, or idea out to your consumers. So you can pay for it, which is through advertising. And there's so many different versions of advertising out there from, you know, your general mailers. You can mail out coupons or information about your business. You can do digital marketing, like email marketing, um, you know, paid space on advertising, like for Google, Facebook, things of that sort, um, radio ads, TV ads. And all of those advertisements are all paid for and paid geared directly to get a lead or to get that consumer. The next thing you could do is say like public relations, right? Which is basically just a way to get your business out there through community efforts or through, you know, getting people to talk about your business, which is, you know, say sponsorships, you know, it's not a direct paid advertising, but you are paying to support the community and through that you could get some public eyes or some consumers that look at you because you're supporting these things or you could even host a nonprofit event at your business but it's just a way of getting your business out there and different things that you could do to market this and again this is just a very small piece to a huge puzzle of marketing in our next video we're going to be talking about what type of business you are are you an entrepreneur or are you a small business? And by identifying those two, we can identify the goals of what your business and what your marketing needs to hit on. So go ahead and click on our next video. We are more than happy to walk you through that. But if you do have any direct questions, feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is down below in the description. Um, but again, like our channel, subscribe to our channel for some updated information. And thank you again so much for taking the time to check out our channel and I am signing off.